Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and it's going to be a brief little review for episodes 6 through 11 of Kokoro Connect. Now, I've already recorded one of these for the first five episodes of the series because I was really intrigued by the whole body swapping thing that began the series. And after episode 5, you know, we see that that chapter of the story kind of ends and moves on to something a little bit different. And uh, so I figured I'd do a video for every sort of chapter that we see. Seems to be every five episodes, you know, that deals with one of these subjects subjects, whether it's body swapping as the first, or in the second, this unleashing of desires and primal feelings at peak moments of intensity, people lose control. And it's mainly the five characters that we've been following all along, Yui, Inaba, Iori, Taichi, and Aoki, and they are being messed with by this, you know, whatever it is, this sort of disembodied entity calling itself Heartseed. And so with the first five episodes, you know, it's very intriguing, hijinks ensue with body swapping and that kind of thing, but I feel like that whole five episodes was really to do with an arc for one of the characters, and that being Iori. And with this second particular arc, I think that it was more the focus on Inaba now, because of course, as these desires are being unleashed and it's affecting the group in negative ways and that kind of thing, they're having to find ways to deal with them, much like they did with the body swapping. And we find out the most, I think, about well, we do find out a little bit about the character Yui and the fact that she was once a karate champion and that kind of thing, and she ends up getting in a fight, and because of this unleashing of desires that she wants to protect somebody, she basically kicks some ass and, you know, really feels remorse for having done that, for having physically harmed someone, so she goes into hiding. So I think we do learn a little bit about her, but it seems like the main arc of these second five episodes, six through ten, is about Anaba in that we find out why she's been distanced, why she's kind of curmudgeonly with her friends, but that she really you know, cherishes that friendship because she hasn't had that before. And she even has romantic feelings for one of the other characters. I won't spoil who that is if you haven't seen the series. But essentially, I think it's very interesting how it seems to focus on the different characters. And from episode 11 on, at least with the change of the end credits, I wonder if Tai Chi's going to be the focus for the rest of the series. I don't know. But it's that primal urge of, you know, these desires, whether it be lust, whether it be rage, anger, happiness, uh, hunger, all of these things being ramped up to levels that they can't control. I didn't think I'd be as fascinated with this as the body swapping, but it is very fascinating. And when finally we get to episode 11, of course, we see that that whole uh, desires being unleashed thing is just another stepping stone in the story of these characters, and we're moving on to a whole new ball game once again. Now, in this particular case, it's they're all being de-aged, and, you know, the thing that intrigues me the most is the fact that we have a heart seed who claims to be a different heart seed. So we kind of sort of have a secondary one. And, you know, being the nerd that I am, I love Star Trek. I'm reminded of the Q continuum, you know, the character Q from Star Trek The Next Generation. There are many Qs in the continuum, and they all like messing with humanity. And that's kind of what, you know, the vibe is for this series for me. Um, I don't know if anybody else out there would agree with that, but I, I just really feel like I can't wait to find out if we're ever we're going to find out what the purpose of all this is. But I do think we get hints. I mean, with the first five episodes, the whole body swapping thing, it's, you know, bringing these characters who just sort of deal with each other in their little group in school having to learn to get closer to each other and being able to trust each other. In the second five episodes, the whole Desires Unleashed thing, it's dealing with each other even when that it's painful, you know, because of course they kept getting at odds and things like that. And it's really putting, you know, that whole being able to trust in each other and being able to be there for each other to the test. I, I think that's the feeling of it. And again, as I say, Iori being uh, the focus of the first story in a way. Inaba being the focus of the second. And as we go on to this new chapter where you have them being de-aged and making them young again, I think we're already seeing samples of what the whole purpose is. It's bringing these characters awareness that they have lost about themselves or about each other. In this particular case, we're already seeing things that Iori has forgotten about herself or that Yui has forgotten about herself with a friend that was in her karate class. And uh, the character Aoki, you know, he is remembering a childhood love that he had forgotten and so I'm I'm really wondering if it's to bring these characters sort of make them grow up and you know not only get closer to each other but get closer to who they really are and, and make them remember and recall things that they forgot and should be 
remembering in life. So uh, once again, I will probably do videos like this for every chapter in the story. I'm assuming every five episodes it'll be something new until the end of the series. And uh, either that or I'll wait till the end of the series beyond this point and, you know, do a sort of overview on what I thought of the whole thing. But so far, it's just very intriguing to me what's happening with these characters and the reasons behind it I'm not really sure of. But whatever those reasons are, the effects that it has on them is very intriguing and I'm enjoying it. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. If you're following Kokoro Connect, what do you think of it? Do you think it's as interesting as I, you know, basically think it is? Um, or is it something that you're not really watching? I'd love to hear from you either way. And otherwise, that'll be it for me. So I'll catch you later. Peace.